Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to talk about our plugin Jit WooCommerce Affiliate. In particular, we're going to learn how we can configure the global commission rate from the plugin General Options. But also, we're going to learn how we can create specific rules. For example, if we want to assign different commission rates for specific products or for specific affiliates. Now, before we start, please make sure you hit the like button below this video, subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now, let's start! Okay guys, here we are inside the demo I have used to record the tutorials for Jeep WooCommerce Affiliates. To begin, let's go over to our dashboard, we find Jeep and we click on Affiliates. To configure the global commission rate we want to establish for our shop, all we need to do is go over to General Options and Commissions and Payments. From this tab, we will be able to set the default percentage rate that will apply for the commissions. For this example, we're going to set the default commission rate to at 20%. This means that every affiliate that generates a conversion through his or her referral link will receive a 20% of the total of the sale. Now, since we're here, let's review some of the other options that we can find here in this Commissions and Payments tab. First, we will be able to decide if we want to prevent affiliates out of commissions. This means that the affiliates will not be able to earn commissions from purchases made by them. Then, we can also decide if we want to exclude taxes and discounts from the commissions. As you can see, in this case, I do have enabled these two options. Then, we can calculate commissions permanently and what exactly does this mean? In this case, for example, if a user that came to our shop through a specific affiliate places a new order, then with this option enabled, we can assign a new commission to that affiliate for that subsequent order. Then finally, we can also decide if we want to send an email to the admin whenever a commission changes status. Now, before we continue, let's go ahead and save the options. At this point, I am sure you may be wondering about a few things. For example, what happens if I want to exclude specific products from the affiliate program? Or even, what happens if I want to configure a different commission rate for specific products? Well, we have actually already thought about all these possible scenarios. So, for the first option, if you want to exclude specific products from the affiliate program, all that you need to do is go over to the General Options tab and activate this first option. In this case, after this option is enabled, you're going to be able to decide if you want to exclude specific products, specific product categories, or specific product tags. For this example, let's go ahead and select a specific product. So from this field, we can search for any of our products. Let's try our basic t-shirt. This one we selected, and now we can save the options. In this case, this product will no longer generate any commissions for the affiliates. Now let's see how we can create specific rules for products and for affiliates. In this case, we need to go over to the Affiliates tab and click on Rates. From here, we will be able to create and manage all of our rules. To see it better, let's create an example. First of all, we need to click on this button, Add Rule, and we will get this model window. Now, before we begin, I do have to tell you something very important to keep in mind. All of the rules that we create from this section will override the general commission rule that we configure from the general options. So, for example, if we configure here a 30% rate for a specific affiliate, then this rule will override the 20% commission we configure in the general options. Now, let's continue with our example. First, we can enter the rule name. And in this case, I'm going to enter this name, new user rule. And I'm going to add Maria because this is exactly the affiliate that we're going to work on on this example. Next, we need to set the rule type. And let me show you the options. If we open here, we will have the option to create a rule for the user rate, product rate, product category rate, user role, or user product rate. For this example, we're going to use this first one, the user rate. Then from this next field, we can search for our affiliate. In this case, it will be Maria. So I enter the name and here she is. Now, for this user, just like we mentioned, we're going to establish a 30% rate for the commission. And with this, we are ready now to add the rule. And now we're going to find it over here. 
and for each rule we will be able to edit it, duplicate it or delete it. Now let's go ahead and create another example so we can really take a look at the options available. Again, we're going to click on this button. Now we can enter the rule name, in this case, specific products. Then for the rule type, we're going to select this time the product rate. And now we need to search for a product. Again, let's try it with a t-shirt. So I'm going to search for this one. Let me find it, this one, Blumen t-shirt. And let's enter for the rate, this time a 35% for the commission. Now, all that we need to do to complete this rule is click here to add it. At this point, as you can see, we have now created two specific rules for our affiliate program. One related to a specific user and another one related to a specific product. And also remember that all of the rules that we create from this section will always override the global commission that we configure from the general options. Well guys, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye!